Hi, my name is Dr. Andrew Siegel and I'm the author of Finding Your Own Fountain of Youth, the essential guide to maximizing health, wellness, fitness, and longevity. So what I did was to use many of my own patients who are between the ages of 75 and 90 who appeared extremely youthful in both their physical appearance and activities and survey them and try to ascertain what were the factors that resulted in their apparent aging with such grace. This book was engendered by my own passion for remaining young, healthy, and fit as I am an avid believer and participant in the quest for you through the practice of exercise, nutritional conscientiousness, an intelligent lifestyle, as well as through knowledge tapped from the richest of resources, the youthful elderly. In the book, I examine the process of aging and the effects of time, environmental exposure, and poor lifestyle choices in terms of their external and internal manifestations. The reader is then provided with options as to how to mitigate these factors. So what exactly did I do with my youthful elderly population? I started off informally during office visits just querying them, asking them, what is it that you do or don't do that makes you, you know, look and act so young? And I would rapidly jot notes down and at the end of the day, copy them over, collate them. And that got to be a little awkward and confusing. And ultimately I switched over to a written question um, to be filled out by the patient in essay form and returned to me so they can give a little careful thought to the question. And the question basically was, what is your own secret for aging well? What do you do? What are the tricks of your own trade? And as an example, I would like to give an answer of an 85-year-old man. I eat very little red meat and few huge meals. As our parents were generally low-key, so am I and my wife. We avoid extremes and everything as nearly as possible, but we are always active mentally, reading, keeping alert with world affairs and family needs, etc. Daily moderate exercise, vitamins and minerals are a part of life. We play games, we visit friends and family as often as possible, and we interact with a large number of people. To have a long and healthy life, one must be a good caretaker of body and mind. Strive for an active lifestyle, physically and mentally. He then went on to write about 10 or so key bullet points. Don't become an addict to anything, food, beverages, candy, television, etc. Walk instead of driving whenever feasible and don't sit too long. Use the stairs instead of elevators whenever possible. Take short, 20 minute or so, totally relaxed breaks now and then. Read a lot of good, informative material and share, discuss. Avoid miserable, unhealthy moods like a plague. Quality of life is ultimately determined by how you cope with all types of circumstances. So particularly learn to cope well with unexpected, disagreeable circumstances. Remain low key. Learn to give without expecting or demanding anything in return. Exercise self-control. Do not harbor grudges or an unforgiving spirit. Try always to accent the positive and eliminate the negative in life. I had many responses like this and they were brilliant. And in the book, I attempt to collate them and summarize them. Uh, in the book, I discuss my own journey to fitness. I discuss exercise in general, nutrition, exercise physiology, the importance of eating properly and maintaining a proper weight, the paramount importance of proactive, preemptive care. I then go on to discuss in detail about the aging process. And lastly, and, and probably most importantly, the youthful elderly revealing their secrets. In its most simplest and basic form,
The formula for aging well is as follows. Aging well equals good genetics plus good lifestyle choices plus good luck. Now one has no control over their genetics and no control over their luck. But one has infinite control over their lifestyle choices.